In terms of Jewish population, Odessa was the third largest city in the world. That is... At the beginning of the 20th century. As for Europe, uh, Odessa was the largest city in terms of Jewish population in Europe. There were 10,000 more Jews in Odessa than in Warsaw. So basically, if you're talking about top three uh, European cities, mm -hmm. it would be Odessa, Warsaw and Berlin. And we are standing on Jewish street. So this is Jewish street. Which we, this one going from there? From there up here. Up here is Jewish, Jewish street. street. So Jews, we never had Jewish quarters in the city. So this area, at the beginning of the 19th century, this was the city, this was the city outskirts. So poor Jews coming to settle in Odessa would settle here. So the area uh, was densely populated by the Jews. In the middle of the 19th century, this was already included into Odessa and the area was populated by middle-class Jews. Poor Jews lived in Moldavanka. During the Soviet days, the name of the street was changed from Jewish street to Babel. Bebel. 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 Bebel is a known German communist thinker. Okay. So it was Bebel street. And in the 90s, when mayor of Odessa was a Jewish person, he changed the street, he gave the street back its original name. To, to Jewish street. To Jewish street. So there's and Greek street, there's Polish street, street there's Bulgarian street, Italian Bulgarian Boulevard. Street. <laughs> uh, and we're standing in front of the main synagogue. Oh really? This is the main synagogue of Odessa. It's still a synagogue. It's still a synagogue. So Odessa got the first synagogue when the city was one year old. It was a wooden building which stood exactly at this spot. In 1850s, the building um, was demolished because it became old. Mm -hmm. And they built this one. In the 1930s, it was shut down mm -hmm. by the Soviets and uh, it was converted into a gym, teachers training university. And it was a gym up until the 90s. The same mayor who changed the name of the street back to Jewish Street gave the synagogue building back to Jewish diaspora. It was completely restored and reopened in the late 90s as the main synagogue. Does it have a name or is it just called Main Synagogue? It's Main Synagogue. This is a more focused sort of, or more. Did they restore it as the original type seating? Yeah. Because usually synagogues that were seg segregated for people who don't know much about the Jewish religion, the women were usually on the second level. It always reminds me of mosques where the women were sitting up mm -hmm. on the higher level and the men only were allowed to be down on the main floor, at least different mosques that we've been in. Can you imagine this is a gymnasium? Mm -hmm. This was the former KGB headquarters, and when they changed the name back to Jewish Street, the KGB then had an address on Jewish Street. B is street. Okay. And underneath it... Yevreiska, A, uh -huh. this first. First one is an A. Yevreiska. Means Jewish? Means Jewish. Oh, this is, they changed the, the, what would be the front, the entrance to the other side of the yeah. street, so they would not have Jewish street as their address. Zabreska.